what is up guys Alfred here and in this video I'll be teaching you guys how to make a shirt with GIMP this is actually a part 2 of a video that I made um, a few months ago probably about 10 months by now uh, it is actually the part 1 of how to make a shirt with GIMP and it got over like about 4,000 views and it's pretty good uh, I've also received a lot of feedback saying some parts is not clear some part is um, probably they, they have some problem as they're doing it so I've decided to make a part 2 uh, answering every feedback I got from that video what is up guys make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this and on top of that turn on post notifications so when I release a new video you can be the first to watch it with that being said let's get on with the video so the first thing you want to do is go to online and search for roblox shirt size so this is a really important thing you guys need to know it's 585 pixels wide 559 pixels tall basically the x-axis should be about 559 and the y-axis should be about 585 just in case you guys are using x's or to be um to make it simple the height is 559 and the width is 585 so that first thing first I'm gonna go to my file and open so I've already got the uh, Roblox template for the shirt so I'm just gonna put it down you see this uh, this is actually the 2017 version but I believe it should work right now um, fun fact guys actually it's not really fun fact but t uh, heads up I do not actually have um, uh, what's this called? Uh, builders? No wait. They call it Roblox Premium. Uh, it expired already, and I don't think I want to renew because right now I'm actually, um, as you guys can see from the content, I'm starting to move into Fortnite instead of Roblox because um, Fortnite is better than Roblox. I feel. So yeah, it's mainly on Fortnite right now. So I don't think I want to waste money. Um doing roblox probably but yeah with that being said let's go into the first thing in the video so making a shirt is really simple the thing that you want to do is first of all you need to pick a color so let's say I want to make a hmm maybe a a white shirt why not so if I want to make a white shirt I can use the paintbrush to make designs and all this uh, by the way this is the 2.10.14 version the previous video I was using the 2.10.10 and it have a lot of problem I couldn't draw I could not do anything so this is slightly the better better version so okay so I've draw something some someone actually asked me in a video uh, someone actually asked me uh, how do you uh, erase a certain part I would not recommend that you crop out this part and delete it because it is um, a bad option but what you can do is you come down to this left corner and you press undo undo and undo so I got rid of everything so to make things make life easier we'll just use the paint bucket oh sorry my bad sorry 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 yeah okay and someone actually asked me how do I zoom in actually you can't scroll in what you got to do is press control on your keyboard it's actually CTRL and zoom in and scroll up that's how you zoom in so now I have to zoom in and uh, the first thing I want to do is get a rectangle so make a rectangle right here something like this Actually, I want to undo. That wasn't a good rectangle. Yeah, so I want to drag and drop. So I have a rectangle here, and I can just use the paint bucket and get everything to be white. So it's pretty straightforward. You can do this for every shirt. And if you want a crop top, you just put it up to this line. But if you want a normal shirt, you can put it all the way so I'm gonna real quick fast forward and see you guys when 
the shirt is done. So we're back. So I'm just gonna complete one side of the sleeve. Uh, the other side is pretty much the same. You guys should be able to do it. So I made a white shirt right now at this point of time. So what I can do is I can put letters here. So maybe I want um, Alfred and I want to. Oh, sorry, my bad. And uh, I can actually uh, change the color. Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. So I want the this to be the font to be smaller, maybe about 10, and I want the words to be in black. So Alfred, maybe something like this, and then I want to bold it. As so maybe I want this. I want to make it bigger, but a bit more. Maybe I really want this big. I mean, it could be a an option if you want to do that. But I don't like to use the words, so this is usually what I'll do. So I go to Chrome and I can search for any picture. I can search for a unicorn, maybe a unicorn, how about that? Unicorn is good. Um, trans. I want a cartoon transparent. Yeah, okay. Okay, so something like this. You see a unicorn right here. So I can save, copy image, and paste it here. Yeah, okay. So it's here now, and uh, my bad. So let ah yeah, here it is. This is the move tool. Yeah. So you cop paste. Uh, you press Control and V, and you should be able to get this here. And what you can do? Oh crap. What you can do is you can actually scale the layer. Maybe I want it about hundred. Okay, maybe I want it even more scale. Yeah, something like this. And I can put it right here in the center. That's a shirt. That's a shirt design. You can put anything you want. Maybe I want a bit of rainbow. I want a bit of rainbow at the back why not a rainbow really simple classic rainbow uh, something like this because the back because my shirt is white I can actually do this and have no problem with it at all so I want to go to uh, scale layer yeah and put it about 100 because uh, this is good scale down yep somewhere here then I can put it at the back of the shirt and yeah I can put something like this uh, actually, the, actually what you can do is you can actually use the um, brush and since you all have white you can actually just paint over this white actually this is not really white but, but a bit greyish so you can just paint across it and yeah it's gonna take a lot of time doing it but you can do that and just basically covering up the background and make the shirt as white as possible and that is a shirt design you can use that design too if you want I mean, it's not a bad design at all this yeah something like that oh, 
there something along this line so I have yeah something like this and uh, what else can you do uh, you can maybe cover up this part and just use your brush or paint bucket create a rectangle or square and then just cover that up and once you're done what you can what you need to do is this is really simple um, you go to file you can save it as a file but what you want to do is not to save it but rather to export this is really important because if you export it you will be able to get it in PNG which is the only which is actually one of the file that Roblox actually accepts the other file is uh, JPG so you click export and then they will ask you all this you can just see export worry about it and you should by right you should have it in the place where you save it for me I saved it in um, uh, catalog yeah so I can search for unicorn because I have so many shirts yeah there you go unicorn sorry uh, because it is in PNG I can actually get it here my unicorn shirt that's how you do it um, it's pretty straightforward nothing too complicated you can just anyone can do this it's really easy and if you still have any problem feel free to let me know because I'm always here I will be able to um, reply to your comment and help you guys in completing your shirt so I hope you guys enjoy this well not really enjoy find this helpful at least and if you guys do find this helpful make sure to share this video to your friends so your friends can also create amazing shirts on top of that make sure to like this video if this video helps you and make sure to subscribe to my channel with that being said I will see you guys in the next video goodbye